On September 2, 2024, the Philippine Army revealed its decision to recommission the FV-101 Scorpion light tank, equipped with the low-pressure L-23A 176mm turret, as part of its ongoing military modernization. Images from a blessing ceremony shared on social media showcase the restored tank, known as the CVR-T Orion, marking its return to service after being withdrawn due to maintenance challenges. The recommissioning of the Orion comes after a significant overhaul, signaling the tank's renewed role within the Philippine Army's armored division. The Army's decision to restore the Scorpion tanks highlights its shift toward revitalizing existing assets while complementing new acquisitions. The FV-101 Scorpion light tanks, introduced in the 1970s, had been retired primarily due to maintenance issues, specifically the aging gasoline engines and a lack of spare parts. In an effort to extend the service life of these vehicles, the Philippine Army launched a modernization project to overhaul 12 Scorpions with a budget of $4.6 million. The primary upgrade involved replacing the outdated gasoline engines with more reliable diesel engines, significantly enhancing the tank's performance and reliability. The revitalization of the Scorpion tanks is especially relevant to the conflict-prone regions of Mindanao, where their increased reliability and adaptability to rugged terrain are essential for current operations. Despite the overhaul, the Orion and any restored Scorpions are not expected to receive advanced fire control systems, unlike the Philippine Army's modified M113A2 vehicles equipped with upgraded turrets from Israel's Elbit systems. The Orion is among the few Scorpion tanks to survive after many were decommissioned and cannibalized for parts. During the initial phase of the Scorpion's retirement, their turrets were repurposed and adapted for use on Belgian M113A2 armored vehicles, which were modernized with assistance from Israel's Elbit systems. The decision to repair and reintegrate these tanks reflects a shift in military resource management, making the most of existing assets. While the exact number of Scorpion tanks set for restoration remains undisclosed, reports suggest it will be a modest number. These recommissioned tanks will likely serve in training and fire support roles, as they are not equipped with the same advanced systems as newer armored vehicles in the Army's arsenal. According to the Military Balance 2023, the Philippine Army retained six operational FV-101 Scorpion tanks. The recommissioning of the Scorpions coincides with broader efforts by the Philippine Army to modernize its forces. Notably, the Army has recently incorporated the Sabra light tank and Guarani 6x6 armored vehicle into its fleet. The Sabra light tank, introduced in 2024, represents a significant leap in firepower and versatility. Developed in collaboration between Israel's Elbit Systems and General Dynamics Land Systems, the Sabra is available in both tracked and wheeled configurations, based on the Ascod 2 asterisk and Pander 2 8x8 chassis. The Sabra is equipped with an advanced turret and a 105mm cannon, the result of Israel's MATAC program developed with South African industry. Designed to operate across various terrains and combat scenarios, the Sabra provides the Philippine Army with enhanced flexibility in regional defense. In addition, the Army has integrated the Guarani 6x6 armored vehicle, first delivered in 2023. Developed by Iveco Defense Vehicles, the Guarani offers superior mobility and protection, especially in amphibious operations, a critical capability given the Philippines' archipelagic geography. This vehicle enhances the Army's capacity to transport troops securely and respond effectively to regional security challenges. The recommissioning of the FV-101 Scorpion light tanks, alongside the acquisition of modern armored vehicles like the Sabra and Guarani, reflects the Philippine Army's balanced approach to military modernization. By revitalizing legacy equipment while incorporating advanced systems, the Army is better positioned to address evolving security threats in the region. As the Philippine Army continues to strengthen its armored capabilities, the combination of restored and new vehicles will play a crucial role in ensuring both regional stability and the protection of national interests.